Universally, infrastructural development is very critical to the growth and advancement of any human society. The provision of relevant infrastructures rapidly enhances advancement in technology and industrial development. This is why developed countries like Singapore, Netherlands, Hong Kong, Dubai, and others that invested massively in infrastructure today are reaping the benefits. In developing countries such as Nigeria, progress in infrastructure has been slow. The constant cry for government to address the infrastructure shortfall is unabating. The reason being that access to improved and quality infrastructure serves to increase productivity, reduce costs, promote capital formation, eradicate poverty, create employment opportunities, and provide sustainable development and growth. There is no way you can grow a society without looking at infrastructure. And for any government to come out well as a good government, a government that is responsive to the needs of the populace, infrastructure development must be number one. In the Niger Delta region, precisely Delta State, South-South Nigeria, Governor Arthur Ifanyokoa is one leader who has visibly transformed the landscape of the state with the massive infrastructural upgrade. A lot has been done in Delta State. Our airport is all changing. The Stephen Keshe Stadium is there. The storm drainage projects in Asaba, a new secretariat to occupy uh, where our people can truly work is out there. Because as of today, you find that you have government offices in over 100 rented buildings in Asaba. That ought not to be so. These are things we're changing the narrative. History has it that within three months of the creation of Delta State in 1991, the first secretariat complex, popularly known as Works, was hurriedly put in place in Asaba. The complex barely accommodated the ministries, departments and agencies, MDAs, and a large army of public servants that relocated from Benin City, the capital of the then Bendel State, from where Delta was carved out. When the state was carved out of Bendel State, there was this issue of accommodation, the issue of transportation. There was no staff morale. The first seat of government then was Bendel Hotels along Nebisi Road. All officers serving the then Bendel State Civil Service, who are Delta State Extraction, have no option than to move down to Asaba. As part of measures to complement the efforts of a young, vibrant state, the federal government built the state secretariat now known as Felix Ebru Secretariat. With these two secretariats, many public offices, MDAs, still operated in rented apartments scattered across the state. This scenario resulted in a lack of proper coordination and smooth workflow. The federal government was the one that gave Felix Ibru building while some ministries moved there. Other rented apartments were used. That was how we were scattered. Being fully aware of the inadequate state of offices for the civil service, Governor Ifanyokoa took a redemptive approach and with a determined and clear desire to make a difference, he proceeded to change the narrative. Hence, he can see the idea of a modern secretariat that will accommodate all MDAs. Bills that were coming from private ownership of uh, buildings which are being used for offices was astronomical. Some of these occupants, government workers, to the extent that some of them are thrown out by these Shylock landlords. So the idea to put this Befitting Secretariat is to save ourselves that disgrace first and to also provide a congenial atmosphere for oppression. Office environment, starting with the very first office space, impinges very seriously on the culture as well as the productivity of the workforce. This is a governor who has come to focus, say, yes, I want this place for my workforce. And that's what has come to happen. The 
name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit to formally break the ground for the construction of the Central Secretary Complex Asaba. Barely three years, the immediate past Deputy President of the Nigerian Senate, E.K. Kure Madu, officially performed the groundbreaking ceremony of the new State Secretariat. The edifice now bestrides the landscape of the state capital like a colossus. This one will keep going up while the other ones are getting ready to go up at the same level. And that was why the architect, when he did his design, did it in clusters because it's such a huge Smart Delta. Bringing to your screen verifiable reports of Governor Ifai Okowa's giant strides and very visible achievements across the state is what we in Smart Delta take delight in doing. Come with us as we take you to one of the signature projects in the state. news that the Okowa-led administration is building one of the biggest secretariats in the South-South region, located here at the heart of Isaba, Delta State capital. This multi-billionaire secretariat is a sprawling spectacle. Today, we bring you to speed on the special project that will be inaugurated in no distant time. Come along as we take you around this edifice. The Secretariat sits on a total landmass of 45,000 square meters, which is the size of two standard football fields. The building comprises seven floors. The first to the sixth floor are designed to accommodate up to 28 MDAs. In essence, housing over 5,000 people under one roof. No wonder it is called Workers' City. This building is coming as an intelligent building. We envisage that as soon as the building becomes useful and functional, government operations will be seamless. So obviously, as far as the structure and the project is concerned, it is a game changer. Along that zone road, Parambabagira Lane, you see that a lot of businesses are coming up to take advantage because the building is going to have about 5,000 people working in it. It is true that the cost is in the neighborhood of about 17 billion. But when you just oppose that with the rent that we are paying to individuals, and aside paying rent to the individuals, it is difficult to actually put all the ministries and departments together to enable a very smooth workflow within the system. Through a public-private partnership, PPP, between the Delta State Government and the North China Construction, the company undertook the planning, designing, and construction of this huge complex. Everything we have here is of American or European standards. That is what we insist on. This is a 100-year-old company in, and is a special great Chinese government company. So we cannot do anything less. I must commend the executive governor of the state and his cabinet. They are doing their best. We are also doing our very best. And together we deliver soon. At intervals in the course of construction, Governor Fanyokoa paid unscheduled visits to the site to have first-hand knowledge of the rates of progress attained part-time. I've gone around uh, most of the floors and I'm very, very impressed with both the external work and the work going on in the offices. It's not something you go with a lot of speed because quality is also important. But I'm satisfied with the level of work done. Smart Builder. Okoa government, they do plenty, plenty good things. Information oh, coming to you. Information oh, oh, oh. Okoa 
of men they do plenty, plenty good things. As in a true urban renewal, Governor Okowa, they transform our environment. Okowa government, they do urban renewal for the 25 local government of Delta State. Areas where people think they no go better again. Governor Okowa don't rejuvenate her. Brotherly, I remember that year for Ishago, now flood everywhere until Governor Okowa create 10 kilometer water canal. Even for Panam Road, once rain for Bobby not go there, we nearly the use no until Governor Okowa do flood control. Governor Okowa don't give us international standard stadium. Even the Obogonogo Ultra Modern Market where they under constructions. Okowa government, they do road constructions for different parts of Delta State, even drainages. Surely this thing will attract investors. Brother Ali, this work where we they do here in Alijo Park and Fim Village where Governor Okowa they built for Delta. Me, I hate Governor Okowa. Smart Delta our inquisitiveness led us to dedicate some days to tour this giant of a building. The managing director, North China Construction, in the company of some of the engineers, took us on a quick tour from the ground floor to the very top, the seventh floor. It might interest you to know that this edifice is strategically designed to be a one-stop location for the ease and utmost convenience in a work environment. The new state secretariat is a masterpiece, convenient, with such a facility for civil servants. You are going to get the best out of the workers. It's a world class. It's quite commendable for a clinic to be inclusive in this kind of sector because it will make life easy for everyone. Paradventure you break down, like women that are pregnant and they are due for delivery and knowing fully where that such a facility is already inclusive in the sectorate, my dear, very, very happy. From the first floor up to the sixth floor, we went into the various offices designated for the commissioners, permanent secretaries, directors, as well as support staff to the commissioners and other top management. We equally toured the general offices to check out the quality of work done the arrangement of the furniture and the overall aesthetics of the offices. The Delta State Secretariat at Sabah is just one among few that you can find in the country. We saw the building, it was massive. Of course, it's not all about the building. The comfort that comes with it also matters. And uh, that to us begins from furnishing. It's something that uh, I think the government have left a legacy over years. Is going to stand. It's a big building indeed. When we came in first, we saw the building. It baffled us. Ah, what kind of building is this? It's very big. At least I've been working in different locations. I've not seen any secretary that is as big and beautiful as the way we saw this one. Every staff that is going to work here, we enjoy it. This is the seventh floor. The seventh floor is called the service floor and it is out of bounds to non staff. This floor also houses the IT server room that controls all the panels in the building. The mechanical room comprises of the firefighting pump, the fire hose reel, and two big water tanks of 18,000 liter capacity each. The volume of water that will be used in the entire building will be pumped and treated in the ancillary room, then stored in the two tanks. The seventh floor of the Delta State Secretariat is basically the mechanical room. The engine room of this entire business. It houses the, the CCTV cameras which watches 24 hours uh, surveillance around this entire complex. Uh, there is a pump room, the mechanical room, the services, everything is housed there. What makes it unique, it is uh, all round. A convenient, efficient and cozy work environment is what Governor Ifan Yokoa desires for his workforce. As such, the Central Secretariat has more than 1,700 air conditioners for the entire building and efficiency. 16 covered courtyards, each with four extractor fans. There also exists within the building open courtyards designed to allow for fresh air whilst letting out the hot air. This building is so massive that we have about 1,700 or more ACs with different capacities. There's not going to be a point in time where there will not be cooling in this building. Power, mechanically, everything runs 
We went further to see the quality of cladding used on the external walls. The choice of this protective clothing is to prevent repainting subsequently in the nearest future. Our construction, our materials are of the highest standard. We Deltans. We are very lucky that the governor has built this kind of magnificent structure for us. We are using this dust cover because in case of the, we have any drillage of the pipe, we can easy to maintain. And we say thank you to Governor Koa for bringing this kind of idea for we you to, to benefit. Mr. Solomon Williams is painting the interiors. He spoke about the quality and the standard of their work. The materials that we make use of in this secretariat is the best one. When I come here, I ask them that which type of thing, they tell me that it was the look thing. And the look thing, not even on all prostatas, they are going to see it. Why? Because they ordered from the main company. It's a great opportunity because most of the company that we work in, we are not even paying up to this amount. This project has made us to just enlighten ourselves. To address the incessant power failure and unreliable power supplies that tend to reduce productivity, the state government went into a joint venture with a private company to develop independent power project IPP for Delta State, known as Asaba Independent Power, located at the back of the Secretariat. One major advantage of this power facility is that it will provide 24-hour power supply and provide electricity to 36 other government facilities within 25 to 29 kilometer radius. For government offices to be very productive, we need at least 22 to 24 hours uninterrupted power supply. And based on that, the government of Delta State entered into a joint venture with uh, a private company, Bastan Shure Power Solution Nigeria Limited, to develop a IPP for Delta State. The Smart Delta Media team also made a deliberate visit to the IPP project site. Mr. Deji, the project manager, took us around the building to show the various types of equipment that will facilitate the provision of steady power. At a point, one of our crew members tried turning on the panel to confirm that it was functional. This one on that one. They are going to generate uh, electricity and then uh, send it to government facilities, ministry, department, agency, and other public buildings. This is one of the panel room. Back to the secretariat, engineer Osage, an electrical engineer, gave a breakdown of how electricity will be distributed in the building once the power hits the transformer from the IPP. The IPP people are going to draw one leg for us to make sure that there will be no voltage that will drop. Working in the Secretariat has not only put food on people's tables, it has created jobs. It has also helped improve the skills of unskilled workers. We spoke with Nelson and Emekan Zete, who told us their experiences. Since the inception of it, sector it's a lot of youth who are unemployed before now have gained employment because approximately we have close to four to five hundred workers who work here on a daily basis working with these chinese expatriate there have been a, a higher level of development you know in terms of work skills this work we are doing here for this sector it i believe is one of the number one passer by here for electrical I learned more, more than the way I do before. And my brain is more wider now. So at least I trust myself that if it carry me to UK and China, I even do better than the Chinese people now. At the designated car parks, curbs installation is ongoing. The car park is designed to accommodate a minimum of 1,000 cars. Other external works are going on simultaneously. Uh, if you look up there, you see people installing the street lights, this other side. You see people doing the stamping. The essence of this is to create space for car parks. As you can see, this place divided into portions. This is a green area and this place is for car park. 
good roads such as this Maria Babangeda Way, where we are driving on right now, plays a very essential role in the development of any society. Governor Okowa, as in the last five and a half years, carried out over 465 road projects spanning over 1,300 kilometers and over 400 kilometer drains and still counting to interconnect city centers, urban and rural areas alike. The previously abandoned Marian Babangida Road, reconstructed by the Okawalid administration, does not only house the Central Secretariat, but it also houses other important facilities of government. The two old secretariats, the Court of Appeal Complex, State's Central Bank, State Library, churches, schools, and some private hotels. The construction of this very important road has enhanced the worth of properties in the area. With the completion of the Miram Bagida Way, the new secretariat is now opened. It has a good road network, and so it will be easy access to the secretariat. Indeed, the civil servants will be happy, and every one of us that are going to work in that place will be happy for it. The secretariat is sited in a very good location, and uh, with a good access road, uh, closer to a lot of things, and uh, most especially in the midst of other secretariats that have been uh, existing since the creation of the state. It's a wonderful development by His Excellency Dr. Senator Ifan Yokoa. Business owners along Miriam Barbegada Road are optimistic that once the new secretariat is commissioned and fully in use, there will be a massive turnover in their businesses. Smart Delta Media team spoke with a couple, Mondeopa, a car wash owner and his wife, Monday Maria, a food vendor who run their separate businesses beside each other. I think we'll open the secretary as so well. I that I will get more customers. My business will grow and I will extend my business so that I will, I will now make the place to look very big. I'm so glad that secretary want to resume work. The secretary are good and I even greet the government. They try, especially Oko, I won't get the experience and the idea. I they cook two painter before, but when they commission a place now, by God's grace, I'll cook like 10, and it will help me to train my children. We also sample the opinions of the vendors at the NTA Junction. Here, M.M. Aqua, the fruit seller, and Godwin Oke, who owns a cyber cafe. If almost 5,000 people will enter this secretary, and I be say this year, I don't buy car with us now. I don't they start to beat my house because more customers will come here. Everybody knows say Okowa na Ikueme. I'm very uh, confident that if the secretary is commissioned, then we are going to have a lot of uh, inflow of customers coming because most of the people that come to visit the secretary, they come daily from far and wide Delta. I thank our governor Okowa for this uh, innovation. Curious to know the anticipation of civil servants, Smart Delta Media team visited the Ministry of Agriculture, one of the ministries in a rented apartment. There, we spoke with Dr. Diai, a veterinary doctor, and Mrs. God's Given, Davieha. Hear them. If I tell you that sometimes I will just drive to the place and be looking at the building, it's a marvelous work. It's, it's fantastic. I think it's the best there is. So anywhere you go to, you look at that structure, you'll be happy that something good has done to the civil service. We are suffering in the Ministry of Agriculture. So it's a good thing for us to go in new sector to meet our colleagues. I send my greeting to Dr. Kowa, my governor. No, 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 no. The state attorney general and commissioner for justice, Peter Mrakbo, SAN, was full of kind words for the governor for such an endearing legacy of his administration. For the staff of the Minister of Justice, their joy knew no bounds as they already envisioned themselves working in their new executive office. The large percentage of MDAs are on private properties. Even our office in the Buzor, which is a two-story building, also a Minister of Lands, which is a two-story building, they are on rent. You have that all across. So the first thing is taking this cost of government. Having a secretariat takes off that cost. And then two, 
you are able to coordinate government business from one spot. Our office, Ministry of Justice at Buzo Road, so it's quite distant from the uh, Court of Appeal at uh, Maria Babagida Way. So being at the Secretariat will make it easier for us to assess the courts. We want to thank Senator Governor Infai Okowa for his good work, his effort he's putting in for the people of Delta State. Since his assumption of office as Governor of Delta State in 2015, Senator Dr. Arthur Ifani Okowa had taken several steps that obviously had made indelible marks and left footprints in the sands of time. The new Central Secretariat is the bomb. With these architectural masterpiece that has redefined the skyline of Asaba, the state capital, Governor Fanyakoa again added beauty to the oil-rich South-South state, which will definitely last the years. segment question of the day my question to the state government is will the cleaning and the maintenance of the new secretariat be taken over by the maintenance company or are we going to continue our jobs especially the clerical assistants and the cleaners are concerned about their jobs thank you very much Susie Oko, for that question the maintenance structure that is on ground is a pre handover maintenance process at the end of the day, the building is for us civil servant. And the civil servants includes the cleaners and other categories of workers. The governor has actually constituted a committee on the handover of the structure to the civil service. It's important to get informed about what is going on in this state. If you're going to pass suggestions to us as government, your suggestions will be welcome. To know more about the Smart Delta team, follow Smart Delta on their various links. Text your questions to 0812119213 or send with a hashtag access to all our social media platforms. You better run, run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do you better. Run, come, come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is, they do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth set them higher. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Come live in Delta. Tell me I say. Come in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.